optimal taxation. See, what is it that we know about taxation? That whenever the tax is going to be imposed, it is going to create certain kind of distortion. You have seen this in a deadweight loss recording as well. Now, optimal taxation is going to be the one which is going to balance the need of the government to raise the revenue, right? Because the government needs revenue. Why government needs uh, the tax revenue? Because government has to spend on various things. Government has to spend on the social welfare programs. Government has to give wages. Government has to do many kinds of expenditure. For that, it needs income. For that, it needs money. So the government is going to raise the revenue. But at the same time, the revenue raised through the taxation should not distort the market much. That is going to be the optimal taxation. The distortions due to the taxation is going to be minimal. So optimal taxation is going to balance this. Right? Optimal taxation is going to sort of balance this. So here there is something which is called the Ramsey rule. So let us assume the case as a perfectly elastic supply curve. Right. So assume, Ramsey assumed. Please write alongside Ramsey assumed a case of perfectly elastic supply curve. So when you have the perfectly elastic supply curve, um, the supplier can give the infinite amount at the given price. That is what it is, right? And here in this case, the more inelastic is the demand, lesser is the deadweight loss. Uh, the more inelastic is the demand, inelastic. is the demand, lesser is the deadweight loss. This I have told you there also in the deadweight loss Wally recording, in which I said the more inelastic is the demand or supply, lesser is going to be the deadweight loss uh, because there is going to be less uh, change in the taxation. Uh, sorry, there is going to be less change in the quantity. So here you have P, you have Q out here and let us say this is what the supply curve is. Take care. And let us say this is the demand curve. Hmm? So the price which is charged is this only and the quantity is this. Now let us say tax is being imposed. So the moment tax is imposed your supply curve will shift upwards. Right? And uh, quantity demanded is going to fall. Quantity demanded is going to fall and the price is going to rise. So the entire burden is on the consumers. And you know this, that this area, this triangle, is what the deadweight loss is. This triangle is what the deadweight loss is. And this deadweight loss is smaller. Why? Because you have the quite inelastic demand out here. Right? So the more inelastic is the demand, lesser is the deadweight loss. First thing. Second thing. Uh, so if you have imposed the tax here, what has happened? Do you think that there is any change in uh, the quantity? This is Q2. There is much change in the quantity, no? Because you have an elastic demand, even after the imposition of tax, there isn't much change in the quantity demanded. Right? So please write. Because of inelastic demand, because of inelastic demand, right? Quantity demanded
is less responsive to changes in price. Changes in prices. And why prices have changed? Because of the imposition of tax due to imposition of tax. Due to imposition of tax, right? So, supposedly, if, uh, if uh, government is going to tax milk, right? Or if government is going to tax uh, uh, fuel, they have inelastic demand. People are going to buy milk. People are going to buy fuel, right? And you do not have to increase the price a lot due to taxation. Just increase a little bit. People, I mean, they can say something, whatever, but they will still buy the same amount. They can't help it. And you will have your revenue. But the point is that you should not increase the amount that much that it is going to lead to hue and cry. Uh, so what they are trying to say is if you are going to tax the inelastic uh, commodities, those commodities which have inelastic demand, don't increase the tax a lot. Just put whatever tax you have. The quantity demanded is more or less going to remain same. It won't, it won't change a lot. So, for example, if milk is being sold at 50 rupees, due to tax, now it is going to be sold at 51 rupees. Now, entire India is buying. So, because of that one rupee increase, people are going to give you that much amount. They won't say, no, because one rupee has increased, I'm not going to buy this. This is not the case. Right? They will still buy it. Or on uh, petrol, there is a 10 paisa increase. Or... Um, let's say 50 paisa increase or whatsoever people will say oh just see petrol is getting very costly uh, but still they will buy the same amount you will have your taxes right so the point is if the government wants to generate very less cost to the society tax these inelastic demand wali thing right so government will generate generate smaller cost to the society cost to the society if they tax If they tax necessities, if they tax necessities, right? Because people are going to continue to buy them. Even if the prices have increased, they will continue to buy. So you will have a balance. Huh? You haven't increased tax a lot. You have generated the tax revenue. This is what you wanted as an optimal taxation, right? Uh, people. will continue by them even if the prices have increased even if the prices have increased right uh, and this is what the Ramsey's inverse elasticity rule. Just write somewhere. Ramsey's inverse elasticity rule. So what is Ramsey's inverse elasticity rule? It says this, that you tax uh, more of those goods which have lesser elasticity, right? Uh, the tax on the goods should be inversely related to the elasticity of demand. Tax on the goods should be inversely related to the elasticity of demand. 
So this is optimal taxation. And basically, this is a very general meaning of optimal taxation, a very simplified version. And here we have, uh, I've just given you an idea of the Ramsey's uh, inverse elasticity rule. That was what I wanted to do, right? Ram Ramsey's inverse elasticity rule. This is what I wanted to give. Right. So a very small meaning of the optimal taxation, right? So I hope uh, it was of some use to you. Thank you, Vita.